Welcome back to 60 Minutes. I've just returned from Sweden where something happened that I never would have imagined in such a wonderful country. My crew and I were attacked. We had things thrown at us. We were punched and kicked. And my cameraman was run over. Unfortunately, Sweden has become a victim of its own humanity. By opening its doors and welcoming hundreds of thousands of refugees and asylum seekers from the world's war zones and trouble spots, the country is experiencing serious security issues. And it's not alone. The migrant crisis has now become so huge, many Western European nations are closing their borders. But that hasn't stopped the refugees coming in their desperate millions. If Greece has carried more than its share of the burden, so too has Sweden. A nation with less than half the population of Australia took in 165,000 refugees last year alone and is starting to buckle under the pressure. This is a country that's barely coping. Only six months ago, Sweden was proudly proclaiming itself the humanitarian superpower of the world. Now it's closing its borders to refugees without identity papers. And its neighbours are being even tougher. Denmark is stripping asylum seekers of valuables to help pay for their upkeep, confiscating cash and jewellery, basically everything except wedding rings. The message couldn't be clearer. Please, no more refugees. Is it refugee overload? Yes, it's a refugee overload. That's a good word. Just too many people? Too many people and too many people of, of the wrong kind. Like many of his countrymen, Jan Hunnesen is calling time. This one-time school teacher and more recently political activist says Sweden is on the brink of an economic and cultural disaster. The problem with a generous welfare state like Sweden is that we, we're very, very soft. And this is an example, he says, of Sweden's too trusting acceptance of young refugees. Men posing as boys to claim special treatment. This is an athlete and he's called Sweden's fastest 14-year-old. So he is said to be a 14-year-old? Yes. It's a bit hilarious, but if you're 18 and above, you don't get the benefits that you get if you're under 18. And you can't be thrown out with the same kind of laws and force. Will the generosity stop? Well, if you call it that generosity to, to ruin your own country, yes, it has to stop, but I, I think we're still generous. For all its generosity, Sweden is now grappling with communities of disaffected migrants who can't find jobs and have few prospects. The country's image was shattered three years ago when riots broke out in the Stockholm suburb of Husby. There are now 55 declared no-go zones in Sweden where police have to escort ambulances to ensure their safety. And as we found out, the temperature is similar in the suburb of Rinkenby, home to mostly Somali migrants. Within minutes of us arriving, a group of young men make it clear we're not wanted and deliberately run down our cameraman. Whoops! Hey, 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 hey. Go on! Shit! What happened? You right? Your leg. You went out of the foot. Are you all right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little more hostile than I had anticipated. OK, welcome to Rinkeby. It's also called Little Mogadishu. Hmm. And is that what you're you're worried about for the future of Sweden, that yeah, clash, yeah. this clash? We, yes, we of saw. course. Now, one of your film crew members was, was run over by, by a car here and it took us one and a half minutes, so... Yes, we're literally just out of the car yeah. and uh, aggression... And they didn't have any reason to do that, did they? No, well, definitely not. not. We call the police. Um, to be honest, uh, we hadn't anticipated such ex intense aggression. Uh, our cameraman was... Literally... And even they fear their presence will be provocative. Mm -hmm. I think it's better if you go in without us, because mm -hmm. I think it would be... Yeah, very aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if we're young. So, so do, and we will stay here, and if it is... That's fine. You, you watch us. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you. 
majority here are Muslims from East Africa, mm -hmm. and they don't assimilate well into the Swedish culture and society, and they're unemployed, and they're poor. So you add all these factors together, it, and their youth are feeling marginalized, and uh, don't speak Swedish very well, so they don't get jobs or get into the Swedish youth culture either. But not everyone is hostile. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, my cousin lives in Melbourne. Many locals are polite and friendly. <laughs> and happy to talk. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm very happy. But what happened next changed everything. The police leave, and as we prepare to go, young men masking their faces arrive. Good, you're doing good. You're doing good? Yeah. OK, very good. Take it easy. OK, you too. And attack. <laughs> Go! Mate! Go! Don't you touch me! Go! Go! What? Okay, we're gonna be. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, please, please. Get out of here. No, no, we are leaving, but you don't need, you don't need to hurt us. There's no need to be unkind. You can't feel it. You can't feel it. No, no, no. Don't do it. Hey! Hey! The gang's attention turns when a local intervenes and drives his mobility scooter into the most violent attacker. Move, move. We've been individually uh, attacked. Uh, sound man has been punched, the producer's been punched, you've been run over, the cameraman. Uh, we've all been assaulted and insulted. It's uh, best we leave.